a lovely time a podcast where we speak to comedians to find out what constitutes a perfect day i'm amy gledhill and my idea of a lovely time is a sponsorship deal with any crisp company come on what are you bloody waiting for prawn cocktail what's it to the best they don't even do them anymore my guest today is stand-up comedian who's been on telly and everything including the brilliant meet the richardsons on dave and even better she's from hull so if you don't like the hull accent um probably skip this one it's lucy beaumont let's have a lovely time then shall we hi lucy hi amy <laughs> yeah you're all right yeah you <laughs> Oh, I hate st- <laughs> I hate starting it when you've clearly just been having a chat to your guest and then it's like right I'm doing podcast now so I'll say hello <laughs> again hello um we've just been talking about dick pics uh it's been exciting hasn't it oh yeah it's that thing in it where the um the best part of this has actually been not on air yeah <laughs> <laughs> I can't really recreate it now oh yeah. well I, you how are you? And I, I was already late, wasn't I? And then you said, how are you? And I said, I'm all right. My mum's been talking about the dick pic she's been getting from Facebook. I'm very jealous. I'm very jealous. I don't, I don't really receive them anymore. There was a time when I would get the odd one pop up and I think, oh, that's kind. But, oh. but not anymore. Just to, I wonder just... what's changed. What have you done then? Different? I don't know. Maybe it's my mascara. Do you know when you think it must be something I've done to not to not receive these men's genitalia in my inbox every every couple of weeks? Oh, there will be. There'll be little signals, sub, you know, subconscious things that make them think that. Well, I mean, my mum said she doesn't mind because it's a very simple request. You know, what they're asking is, can you just look at my penis? And so she looks at it and then <laughs> that's it. That's all they want, you know it's well, quite nice. sweet it? yeah she could she's offering a service really yeah well yeah. she said had a look that, that one's all right yeah looks fine to me looks normal thank you brian well, that's what she does she just sends them the thumbs up emoji what an absolute hero that's brilliant and uh, other than other than um dick pics and 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 stuff is everything all right your end yeah yeah i think i'm all i mean I mean, how deep do you want to get? <laughs> how deep do you want to go? <laughs> Is that what they said to your mum? <laughs> well, I think I'm all right. I think I think I'm probably I think I'm probably better off than I mean uh I think mentally I'm probably better off than I'd say about 30% of the population. Um and then physically, you know, and um you know, materialistically, I'm, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing well, but I think overall, I'm all right. <laughs> What's that about? A five, a five out of ten. Average. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it differs. So, like, you know, yeah. it's up and down the scale. Yeah. How, how are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm all right. I, it's, it, it, it does sort of peak and trough, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, but I'm. Am I excited to start gigging again and working again? Because you I did tour support for you, and that's one must have been one of the last sort of gigs that I did. Really, did yeah. you um, did you have to cancel any dates? I think I did. Yeah. Oh, well, oh my god, I, I cancelled the whole tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one or two then. One or two. <laughs> no, which you would have, which I would have asked you again if you'd have been, because I, I really, what I, I don't really like gigging, I don't, I don't enjoy it. I like the end. <laughs> I like the end yeah. of it when the clap. Yeah, yeah. And, and I like, like you know, I like sometimes I'll have like I'll always like have something nice before the gig, like a, I like a drifter or something like that, <laughs> flapjack. Um, <laughs> I used to always have a chocolate milkshake, a fridgy chocolate milkshake and a oh, banana. Yeah. 
that I found that really got me going. Oh, and then I went through a stage of just having just one gin and tonic. And I found if I had two, I was that one very good. Oh, really? A bit too laid back. <laughs> and I didn't, I thought I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't wait for him to laugh. Just thought I'd get off and get another gin and tonic. <laughs> If I had one, that was perfect. But I, I do, I, yeah, I really miss. I, I just, about what I miss the most, I like working with other people, and so I really enjoyed it when we was working together. Yeah, me too. It was fun, and you've got a lovely audience. You yeah, know, you've cultivated a really nice crowd of people. So well, there'll be good. your audience as well. I mean, there's not that much difference between us, really. I don't. Th- to other people, we sound the same, don't we? Do you think? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh god, we'll have to we'll have to start saying our name in front of each sentence we say so the listeners can understand who's speaking. That was Amy, that's me, <laughs> Amy saying that. <laughs> um so right, so we're gonna talk about your lovely time, Lucy. So first of all, could you give us an example of a time you've had in your past that was just dead nice? Yeah, I can. Um, what I really like doing, um, and I can name like certain times um, that were the best. I really, really like going to Toby Carveries. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like um, you know, what 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 I like doing is is seeing how much I can get on my plate, and I really like that feeling when you go past. You know, when you there's like a like a there's a full feeling. I like going past that feeling and then feeling like really, really full. And then what I like doing, my favourite thing is when you come home and the only thing you can do is have a nap. <laughs> and you have to actually sleep. You have to actually sleep it off. I really, really that that is my favourite time because I feel like a cat. Oh yeah. Oh, a lovely warm cat with a big full belly on Christmas Day. Yeah. Christmas do, full. That's what it Christmas is, isn't it? Full, yeah, yeah, it is Christmas full. Um, but I've got particular it, it's just something about those those Sunday dinners I really, really like. Because there's also with Toby Carver is a bit like McDonald's does fill you up and then you you are hungry again. I don't know what it is to do to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I can always get I've got a savoury stomach and then a sweet stomach. So I can eat at Toby Carver, I can have my roast. Yeah, get so full that it's pain, it's pain, it's physically painful. Yeah, it but should. Then, be. Yeah, you are, otherwise you ain't got your money's worth. So you keep pushing it in, pushing it down. I'll yeah. have another Yorkshire pudding, of course, and then you think I can't eat another thing except for a Knickerbocker Glory, or you know, uh, chocolate sundae or something. Oh yes, please. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I like that feeling as well when you get a pudding and. As soon as it arrives, you know you didn't really want it, but it's there, so you have to you have to eat it. And then you there's like three stages, isn't it, with eating it as well? Where first stage is oh, I just don't want this, and then and then you're all right, aren't you? And then you're like, it's a bit like going jogging. You know, you go through the wall with it, don't you? <laughs> I do generally re- regret having a pudding because I do like to keep the savoury taste in my mouth. Maybe you could have a pudding halfway through. Yeah, what I should do is take the pudding home and have the pudding after <laughs> my nap. Because that's when, I always found that's when you, I love that feeling when you've had a really, really deep sleep nap and you wake up and that, that uh, you know, and you just need to have some something sweet. I love that feeling. Yeah. Oh, well, that These are all things lovely. I don't get to do them a lot anymore because I've got a four-year-old. I don't get to just have a nap. <laughs> <laughs> You don't get to have a nap, and I'm a pretend vegan, so I don't get to have a free bed roast. Of course. So, what would you have in a Toby Carvery then? Um, I will just have the turkey. Now I'm a vegan. Oh, good for you, Lucy. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> one week. Oh, that's really nice. So, okay, so let's create your your perfect, ideal, lovely time. So there's no restriction on budget or location or who's there. So you can do anything that you want. So let's start with where you are. Where would you like to be? Um, I'd like to be uh, at my granddad's house. Oh, 
oh, that's nice. And where's your granddad's house? Ed, you will need to know the address. Uh, yes, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna send him. I'm not going to send him a dick pic, are you? going to ask him for one. <laughs> <laughs> no, he took that too far. No. Okay, oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, wh where in the world is he? You don't need to give us a street address. Um, he lives in East Yorkshire. Oh, does he? Oh, yeah. that's nice. Obviously, Lucy's from Hull, as am I. East Yorkshire. Would you say East Yorkshire or would you say Humberside? Mm, oh, East Yorkshire, I say now. I say East Yorkshire. Yeah. What's Humberside? I've never got on board with Humberside. Are you East Hull, Amy? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't normally like people from East Hull, but I do like you. <laughs> you don't well, seem very East Hull, actually. Do you know what? My dad's from West Hull and my mum's from East Hull and it's like Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> and I was born near Witham which is like this weird little, I don't know what Witham is really, like a weird little bit in the centre of Hull, which is sort of here there. It's a hotbed of alien activity, that's what it is. There's been more what? sightings in that area than anywhere else. <laughs> Did you not Did know I? that? That's because it's near Spider's Nightclub where you can get shots for 60 pence. Well, they set that up. That's been <laughs> set up by aliens. <laughs> I didn't know that really so that's where the alien sightings are in abductions there right i'm not sure well i mean <laughs> i can't say it's fact obviously but <laughs> oh my, i had no idea yeah oh well there you go maybe i'm an alien baby would explain think... a lot yeah it would wouldn't it <laughs> oh god <laughs> okay Oh, I'm going to look into that. All right, so we're we're not in Witham. We're in East Yorkshire at your granddad's house for your lovely day. Yeah. And what are you doing? How are you spending your time? Um, I'm curled up uh, on the city. <laughs> just had a big, just had a big tea. <laughs> and Aww. I'm watching Tom and Jerry with my granddad. Oh, that's so lovely. Yeah. That's really nice. And is it just yeah. you two there? Nobody just else us there? Two. Yeah, oh. yeah. Every now and again he gets up and he chases a cat off his lawn and says, Put it off fire. I'll wring its neck. And then he sits back down and watches Tom and Jerry, which is about chasing a cat, actually. That's where he gets his ideas from. Yeah. Because uh, I like watching it with him because he, cr he cries with laughter. He finds it really funny. And it's nice oh. to watch. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. That's so nice. And do you have that memory as a child? Do you think something like that maybe got you into comedy? Uh, not got me into comedy. I think um, having unusual parents got me into comedy. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the way. He was always the one. The he was quite level, you know. So I, I think it's like a, a place of comfort, a place of... Um, serenity and normality you know oh that's nice a little haven stability yeah you know somewhere you can go that's always going to be the same yeah, yeah. like nothing in that house has changed from the 80s oh wow <laughs> tell one me, about, or two. Tell me about how it's decorated tell me about the sofa well, he has done. He actually has done the kitchen, um, but the, the the living room is exactly the same. The sofa is is the same, is the same sofa. It's quite smart. It's from the eighties, um, <laughs> quite dusty. <laughs> actually, but it's a very eighties pattern on it. Yeah, Aww. yeah. The whole the whole thing, the whole layout is the same. Yeah. Does it have a nice smell, like a comforting smell? There in, no, there ain't a smell anymore. When my granny was alive, it, it, it smelled of silk, silk cut cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a comforting smell. Yeah, yeah. The smell of home, you know. <laughs> um, no, it doesn't. No, it's just those little... I mean, he's now give it to me, but he used to always have a big jar on the um, half that you, whenever you went around, you'd have to put your fingers, you know, like to put, you know, to get out coppers. And oh. You were allowed to grab you know take a take a fistful and that's um, nice. let all the grandkids do that oh yeah. that's gorgeous little and things like that 
Has he visited your house? Because I've seen your house on the telly, Lucy, and it's amazing. He came once. He's never been back. I think. I think he. I think he was a bit curled. <laughs> <laughs> a bit drafty. <laughs> no Tom and Jerry on. Forget it. Forget about yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, so so you're on you're on the sofa. You watch the Tom and Jerry. What time of day is this? Do you think? Um, well, I think this should be a Sunday, so after a big Sunday lunch, so uh, um, I think this is about four o'clock. Lovely. Something like that, yeah. Okay, and then how are you going to spend the rest of your evening? You've got the whole night ahead of you. Oh, so um, probably going to watch Casualty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. I'm yeah. probably going to ask... Oh, should we watch some home videos of when we was when the family was all younger? And then I'll go get the home videos and I'll find that they've all been taped over with match of the day. <laughs> and non non exist anymore. There's a shelf full of videos that say things like Lucy's fourth birthday, and you think, oh, that'd be really nice to watch. And then you put it on, and then there's like a Timothy advert <laughs> come up. <laughs> and then you think, oh, 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 you know, and then there's the milk tray advert. Milk tray oh, advert. I do, I do. And then there'll be um, there'll be half of Love Joy. <laughs> <laughs> so much gone wrong. Oh, so, amazing! A rugby match or something, yeah. And so you still got them all. <laughs> still got them all. But the, just there's nothing on them, and Aww. so then we 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 will just watch telly till bed. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. And does he have a spare room? Do you have a a room that you stay in there? Yeah, yeah, stay upstairs. Yeah, in the same room. Yeah, it's the room that I was in when I was little. Yeah, Aww. yeah. I lived there. You see, till I was about seven. So it's it's home, and we had bunk beds. So my auntie because there was a period of time where she was still at home because she's quite a young one. So she was like a big sister, really, you see. So when we shared bunk beds together. Yeah. 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 Were you top or bottom? Um. Oh, I was top, yeah. And would you have anything that you'd do to get to sleep? Would you tell stories? or Because I always find if you're sleeping in the same room as particularly like another woman, like a female friend... There's a point just before you go to sleep where everything's hilarious and mm. I can never fall asleep because you just gig like giggling. Yeah. And I always thought it was something that just ended in childhood, but I went on a, st- a, a stag do and yeah. um, there was me and there was o- o- women there and me and Jane Edwards was in bunk beds. Jane Edwards has been a guest on this podcast yeah. And we must have laughed, like cry laughed for about six hours, <laughs> just trying to get to sleep because we'd go, yeah, 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 night, night. And then you'd so, there'd be like a silence as you're both trying to drift off and then one of you would just go, <laughs> and then we'd laugh again. And it was like, oh, I wonder if that's just just what what happens when you just try and sleep next to anybody who's like oh, a mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that wasn't the case. <laughs> no, 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 just checking, really, just checking in. <laughs> no, but she used to read, start, you know, I was read a lot of stories and I really, you know, I, I now realise now as an adult what a gift that was if you were read to, you know. Yeah, yeah. I was always read, there was always somebody to read, you know, that I was never put to bed without stories. And I, I've always just thought that was normal, but... And now I found out, no, not everybody did get yeah. read to, you know, and you think, gosh, I can't, I can't imagine being a child and not uh, being read to before bed. So she was very good at, and she went on to be a primary school teacher, but she used to read, she used to write me poems as well, oh. read poems, she was amazing. They were all where they were all really, um, I was dirtied on, you know, by, by the family really, yeah. So, so how lucky. come you're doing comedy? It doesn't make any sense at all, really. <laughs> Oh, it went wrong somewhere. <laughs> and uh, yeah, do you find everyone in comedy is a bit damaged? Everyone, yeah. Oh my god, yeah, definitely. And they might seem all right on the surface, and then they go, "Well, 
obviously when I was six this happened and you go oh yeah yeah no that makes sense but you've got a cracking 20 minutes there so good for you good for you (laughs) but that all sounds so cozy I think you've painted a real lovely picture um it's making me think of my nana's house and I always remember that she had one of them you know them real dangerous looking fires (laughs) <laughs> like it's like an electric fire with like three bars on it and oh, yeah. nothing sort of heated up but everything near it looked like it was about to catch on fire do you remember them i know what you mean yeah yeah just sort of like a bit dangerous and i remember in my nana's house she had a green bath set so her, like her bath was green and like a green sink and a green toilet and i remember yeah. thinking that must be dead posh like <laughs> Yeah, my nana's got a green sink, actually. <laughs> and now you see it on, you know, when people go on them home programmes <laughs> yeah. around houses and they go, well, we'd strip that out. That is That green is revolting. And I'm like, oh, maybe it wasn't as posh as I was led to believe when I was eight. Like, well, your nana's got a green bath, so somebody's doing all right in the family. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. My nana had them... One of them dolls that you put over toilet rolls. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They seemed fancy, didn't they? Yeah, I thought we were we were the royals. <laughs> 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 oh, that's... So, yeah, it's, re- it's a really cosy image, like a really comforting image. Um, but what would, what would spoil that? If there was one thing that would spoil that or somebody... Or somebody who would turn up and you'd be like, oh, well, that's ruined. My mother. <laughs> <laughs> With her tales of dick pics. Uh, I'm not, I shouldn't, I'm, this is, I shouldn't say this because she listens to stuff. <laughs> no, yeah, so, uh, some, yeah. Well, well, what spoil it? What what's probably the, the I was, I'm only joking about that. Um, what what was spoil it was because it was Sunday because uh, I spent every weekend with them I'd have to go home I'd have to go oh. back and, and so it was more like oh the weekend's ended and I've got to go home and my granddad would drive me drive me home because he lived in the countryside and right. we didn't really like right in the center of of Hull yeah. you know so it was such a difference you know going back to to the and I've yeah go, and I didn't I didn't you know I got in I liked school and stuff but it was just that like oh stop you know that like I used to I don't I mean I want you know school wasn't a bad thing but I always and I still get it sometimes now just like muscle memory I like a homesick achy feeling on a Sunday night like in my tummy of like a oh like it's all the niceness has ended you know it's like yeah. the certain sensory stuff I get like like the sound of the bath running or like, you know, certain programmes like um, Antiques Roadshow that may, he still sometimes like, I'm nearly 40 and I'm like, oh, I've got to go back to school. <laughs> and I don't, I don't have to go to school. <laughs> oh, yes. that's, that's so interesting. Yeah. My, my partner gets Sunday night dread. It just feels different on a Sunday night, yeah, because he, I don't think he liked school and he'd be like, oh, it's Sunday night. Just And he just feels a bit glum on a Sunday night. So maybe it's a phenomenon that needs looking into. Yeah, like the blues. It feels like getting the blues. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, uh, that's nice that you've got a partner. (laughs) Oh, thanks, Lucy. I hope to one day get a green bath with him. (laughs) That's the dream. Thank you so much for joining us, Lucy. It's been a real a real treat to chat to you. It's Thank been you. really nice. Lovely to see you. You're my favourite person in comedy. Oh, come off it. Yeah, you are. Come you are on. My favorite. You are, yeah. I can't wait for, um, because you're already getting well known, but you're going to be such a huge, huge, you're going to be a national treasure. <laughs> you are. You will have a swimming pool in Suffolk. That's a lovely thing to say. I'm, I've really enjoyed... I love Meet the Richardsons. I think it's thank absolutely you. hilarious. Oh, thank you. And I think it, well, it's like Kirby enthusiasm. I think it's brilliant. I think it's so oh. funny. Oh. And you come across so well. And obviously, 
there's a lot goes into it so you can watch it on the level of like this is just you know brilliant entertainment but there's a lot that goes into it which I think is so funny and clever and I think it's yeah I think it's spectacular so good on you good on (laughs) you good on you um I think that's I think that's us done Lucy thank you so much for for doing it no problem. Oh well, I hurt. We we was we were about to have a pint. Do you remember? And then yeah, everything went peak tongue. And two years later, <laughs> literally, it was a few weeks later. It all kicked off. Oh, no. We'll definitely have to work when when yeah, I'd then. Love that, yeah. Maybe in summer. Yeah, I'd love that. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh well, it was lovely to speak to you, Lucy. Nice yeah, to see you. Yeah. yeah. And um, go and bring your mum back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was a lot of hull, wasn't it? What a lot of hull. Not too much. You can never have too much hull, obviously. Um, But there we go, Lucy Beaumont there, currently the true national treasure from Humberside. And what an absolute treat to speak to her and get taken to her granddad's for a lovely roast. Oh, God, it was absolutely perfect. What a warm bath of a conversation. Thanks so much for listening. I really do appreciate it and keep sharing and subscribing. And if you live in or around Manchester, make sure you get tickets for our July show because it's going to be brilliant and tickets are shifting quicker than we thought. We didn't know what would happen, but you're all snapping them up like little hungry hippos. Uh, That's it for now. Only two more lovely times this series. Who will they be? Uh, No idea, but I'm sure they'll be bloody great. So join me next week for another lovely time. This podcast is made by A Lovely Time Productions and hosted by Amy Gledhill with music by Jack Evans. making money out of it and it's causing micro penises.